I have a PMF mat sleep on. Yep. Um, I'm doing the alkaline pad. <clears throat> just so everybody knows, like, I sleep on the mat. And I just say, I'm sorry, it is something, something new. I mean, it's something we accidentally, we accidentally disconnected from the earth. It's the process of connecting your body to the earth physically via direct contact. So what grounding does is it reduces the inflammation in your body. There's a whole science behind it. Mm -hmm. There's 20 peer reviewed published studies on it. Let's unlock the power of earthing. When was the last time you felt the cold grass under your feet or the warm sand between your toes? For many, it's been long. But what if I told you that walking barefoot could boost your health in ways you never imagined? It supports the body as a whole, but it specifically supports organ systems down to the tissues and the cellular function of the entire body. In this video, we'll dive into the secrets of earthing and the amazing benefits. What is earthing, also known as grounding, Earthing allows people to connect their bodies with the earth and use its natural electric charges to stabilize them. This practice often involves walking barefoot outdoors or using indoor grounding systems while sitting or sleeping. However, it is not limited to these practices. The theory is that when we physically connect with the ground, its electrical energy rebalances our own. Proponents of this belief say the rise in chronic illnesses is partly attributed to our footwear. They say most people now wear shoes with rubber soles that don't conduct electricity. As a result, we've lost touch with the earth, and this is making us unwell. This practice is increasingly popular for supporting mental health, calming the mind, and bringing peace, with researchers linking it to numerous health benefits. While scientists continue to study its fascinating effects, many reports highlight its remarkable health advantages. When they saw the study, everybody said, well, this is really pretty interesting. And we ended up attracting scientists, physicists. It's believed to alleviate serious conditions like chronic pain, muscle damage, heart disease, and mood problems. So what is earthing? It is as simple as walking barefoot on grass or sand. Some researchers think it helps the body's natural defenses, just like how antioxidants work. They say earthing affects the living matrix, which connects all the cells in our body. This matrix has an electrical conductivity that helps our immune system. One interesting study tested earthing on 10 healthy people. These people had special patches put on their palms and the soles of their feet to ground them. Scientists took blood samples before and after grounding to see if anything changed. They were looking at blood cell fluidity, which is important for heart health. After earthing, the results showed less blood cells clumping. This means that earthing might be good for your heart. Difference between earthing and grounding. I said earlier that earthing and grounding can be used interchangeably, but then, are they the same thing? Well, you'll get different answers depending on who you ask. It's common to use both terms, but Dr. Susan Albers sees grounding and earthing as two distinct but related terms. She says that grounding is an umbrella term for a wide range of mindfulness techniques, like earthing. So all earthing is grounding, but not all grounding is earthing. One reason we distinguish between the two is that not all grounding exercises involve connecting with the earth. You can ground yourself in many ways, like stretching, engaging your senses, or doing breath work. Dr. Susan Albers favorite grounding exercise is putting her hands on a table or sitting in a chair with her feet flat on the floor. This counts as earthing in the right setting. However, most people do this activity indoors. And if there's no earth or earth energy involved in these activities, it is not earthing. Grounding, unlike earthing, doesn't have to be physical. They're often mental. An example is repeating mantras, solving math questions, or playing memory games. Even though both terms are similar, earthing is more specific. Now that we've clarified this, let's get into the origin of this practice. You'll be amazed to see how far it has come. The origin of earthing. Throughout human history, civilizations have recognized the importance of our planet. The Earth has nurturing and restorative powers. That's why simple acts like walking barefoot serve as conduits for the transfer of the Earth's energy into the human body. Many years ago, physical contact with the ground was a favorite pastime. People walked barefoot or used animal hides for bedding or footwear. Unknown to them, these practices transferred Earth's energy into their body. They didn't know that the law of nature was at play. At the time, little or no studies were done to determine the electric charge of the earth. But then, some healers and sages knew about its benefits and therapeutic effects. Think of it like this. There's a special energy called chi that fills the universe. Heaven chi comes from things like sunlight and moonlight, 
while Earth Qi comes from the Earth's magnetic field and heat underground. Everything in nature, including people, plants, and animals, has its own Qi field. When you walk barefoot, you absorb Earth Qi without even thinking about it. This is why walking barefoot feels so relaxing and why exercises like yoga are done without shoes. In the 1880s, a natural health movement led by Adolf Just began in Germany. Just is one of the founders of naturopathy. He had an idea of a unique way of healing. He believed in eating a vegetarian diet, not drinking alcohol or smoking, and walking barefoot. He even slept on the ground. People all over the world noticed his ideas, and this inspired similar movements in the U.S. and Europe. In his book, Return to Nature, Just explained his belief in earth power. He explained that our feet are like the roots of plants, drawing vital energy and strength from the earth. He said that by sleeping on the ground, our bodies would wake up with new energy and health, ready to get rid of old problems and gain new strength. Adolf Just wasn't the only one who believed in earthing. Matteo Tavera, a French agronomist, also supported it. He thought that the Earth's electrical energy was important for plants, animals, and humans. His studies, alongside those of many French biophysicists in the 1920s and 1930s, studied how grounding affects us. Native Americans, too, recognized the significance of the Earth in many ways. This understanding is summed up in the words of the late Otakate, a writer, educator, and tribal leader of the Lakota Sioux tradition. He said, the old people came literally to love the soil. They sat on the ground with the feeling of being close to a mothering power. It was good for the skin to touch the earth, and the old people liked to remove their moccasins and walk with their bare feet on the sacred earth. The soil was soothing, strengthening, cleansing, and healing. We can't dive into the origin of earthing without mentioning one pivotal figure. This man transformed earthing into the widespread movement that captivates millions today. I'm talking about Clint Ober. How Clint Ober pioneered the earthing movement. Our, all the research that we did really is about uh, remo you know, grounding people to the earth who had autoimmune or inflammation-related health disorders. And so In the late 1990s, a retired cable TV professional started to think about the human body in terms of electrical grounding. For 25 years, Clint Ober contributed to the rise of the cable industry. Thanks to him and other professionals, consumers enjoyed superior images over regular broadcast television. Ober established the leading cable installation company in the U.S. You might be wondering what cable TV has to do with earthing. Well, it's interesting. The clear picture you see on your TV is thanks to a special technique called shielding. Inside the cable, there's a copper wire surrounded by a mesh shield. This shield is connected to the earth. When it's connected to the earth, it can either give or take electrons, thereby stopping electrical charges from building up. This keeps the signal in the cable stable and clear, so you get a crisp image on your TV. Just like this, earthing helps our bodies by balancing electrical charges and improving our well-being. After Clint Ober retired, he considered how his experience with cable TV might apply to the human body. He realized that most people wear synthetic soled shoes that insulate their bodies from the Earth's connection. The most destructive invention that man ever made, the synthetic soled shoe. This simple realization inspired a scientific adventure that has resulted in the growing awareness of the Earth's ability to maintain health and promote healing. Ober thought of better ways to bring the Earth's healing energy inside for convenient and healing use while people sit or sleep. For instance, in 2000, he organized a group experiment to test whether earthing could help people sleep better and reduce their pain. You can see after earthing when we connect, everyone's cortisol cycle comes into perfect rhythm. And so Assisted by a nurse, he identified 60 male and female volunteers with chronic sleep and pain issues. He then went to their homes to set up a conductive earthing pad on their bed. He connected the pads with a wire to a ground rod placed in the earth outside their bedroom windows that would facilitate carrying the energy from the earth to the bed pad in half of the setups. He inserted a spacer to block the conduction of energy. This helped him compare the two groups, those receiving the Earth's energy and those who were sham grounded. The participants in the experiment did not know whether they were grounded or not. The result of this finding sparked further research in the field. Even though Clint Ober is not a scientist, he published his findings in an online journal. As of 2020, over two dozen studies have been conducted. Ober has funded several researches that prove that connection with the Earth creates beneficial changes within the body. There's still a lot to be learned, though. And it's a stepping stone. Earthing reveals a natural and higher level of physiological functioning.
Are you ready to start your Earthing journey? The first step is discovering the different ways to reconnect with the Earth. Whether it's direct or indirect contact, each method brings you closer to nature's healing power. Types of Earthing Walking Barefoot First up is walking barefoot. Have you ever been outside on a warm summer day and felt the urge to run barefoot in the grass? If this feeling ever comes to you, try it out. One of the easiest ways to ground yourself to the earth is to walk barefoot. Whether it's on sand, grass, or even mud, allowing your skin to touch the natural ground can provide you with grounding energy. Lying on the ground. Lying on the ground increases your skin to earth contact. You can do it either on the beach sand in a park or in the corner of your house. If you're going to ground yourself in this way, be sure to be careful and never lie where you could be injured. Submersing in water. According to supporters of grounding, water is also helpful in the way the physical earth is used for grounding. They suggest that you can ground yourself by wading in clear water or swimming in an ocean. As always, avoid deep waters or murky areas. Using grounding equipment. Sometimes outdoor grounding is impossible. When this is the case, there are always alternatives. One method you can try is connecting a metal rod to the ground outside and connecting the rod to your body through a wire. If you're uncomfortable using a metal rod to ground yourself, there's other grounding equipment available. These tools help you incorporate earthing therapy into your daily life. They include grounding bands, mats, blankets, socks, and patches. And now to the benefits of earthing. Why do you need to go through this stress? Why shouldn't you consider alternative therapies? Is earthing worth it? Benefits of earthing. The commonest benefit of earthing is that it reduces free radicals that take place in the body. A 2012 report in the Journal of Environmental Public Health says humans walked barefoot throughout history. At most, they wore footwear made of animal skins. They slept on the ground or animal skin. Through direct contact, the ground's abundant free electrons entered the body. This mechanism stabilized the electrical environment of all organs, tissues, and cells. But that's not all. There's more to these benefits than meets the eye. Here's how earthing can benefit your health. Reduces inflammation. So how do we reduce inflammation? The most abundant protein in the body is collagen. It's the building block of our tissues. When you connect with the earth through earthing, it is believed that you take in free electrons that help neutralize free radicals in your body. This can reduce inflammation and slow down aging. The latest study on grounding, a 2023 review article, was published in the Biomedical Journal. Experts say that earthing also improves circulation, which means your body can move nutrients around better and get rid of waste and toxins. Good circulation boosts your energy and reduces swelling. Inflammation is a big problem worldwide and can cause many diseases. But how does earthing help with inflammation? I know that not enough grounding is the cause of inflammation because if the body is grounded, you can't have inflammation. Inflammation happens when your body doesn't have enough electrons in its tissues. When your body senses danger, it sends special molecules to the injury site, causing an inflammatory response to protect you. Sometimes, free radicals from this response can damage nearby healthy tissues, leading to pain, swelling, heat, and redness. You eat high oxidant foods to keep free radicals in check, and earthing works similarly. The Earth's free electrons act like natural antioxidants. When you walk barefoot on the ground, these electrons enter your body and travel to where free radicals are causing damage. The electrons neutralize the free radicals, preventing damage to your DNA and reducing chronic inflammation. Helps reduce stress hormones. Experts say that chronic stress can make life really hard, but guess what? You don't need to do much to feel better. Spending time in nature can help reduce anxiety and stress. A recent study looked at how earthing affects stress in 58 healthy adults. They put special patches on the bottom of their feet to measure electrical signals. The people spent 28 minutes not connecting to the earth, and then another 28 minutes with an earthing wire connected. Some people stayed unconnected the whole time. After earthing, about half of the people showed positive changes in their brain signals, which means lower stress. Also, 19 out of 22 people who did earthing had lower blood volume pulses, showing less stress and tension. Earthing also improves your mood. Earthing helps you sleep better. Did you also know that earthing helps you sleep better? A 2007 study in the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine found that connecting your body to the earth while you sleep can normalize your cortisol levels and improve sleep patterns. Cortisol is a stress hormone that affects your sleep and energy. The Earth's natural rhythms can help set your body's clock for sleep 
and activity. We've all had nights where we toss and turn, unable to fall asleep because our minds are racing. When your body isn't in sync with the Earth's natural rhythms, your sleep and immunity will suffer. Many people's indoor lifestyle might contribute to issues like chronic fatigue syndrome. Another study in 2006 from the Journal of European Biology and Bioelectromagnetics looked at cortisol levels before and after earthing. Before earthing, adults had scattered and unpredictable cortisol levels. But after earthing, their cortisol levels aligned with the natural rhythm of the earth and sun. They had higher cortisol in the morning and lower cortisol at night, which helps with relaxation and sleep. Poor sleep is a sign of high stress hormones like cortisol. By reducing your reaction to stress, earthing can help you fall asleep and stay asleep more easily. Sleep is essential for healing your body, boosting your immunity, and giving you enough energy for proper digestion. In addition to helping you sleep better, earthing increases energy. Earthing increases energy. Over time, people have discovered that earthing or grounding improves their energy and helps them fight low-grade and ongoing fatigue. This can be one side effect of getting better sleep but also due to improvements in hormones and lower levels of inflammation. For instance, higher cortisol levels can reduce your energy. Physiological stress and cortisol have a close relationship. Stress impacts cortisol, and cortisol can further increase stress responses. This cycle can lead to fatigue and sleep problems, including cravings for low-nutrient foods and excess calories. Even if you're in severe pain and have tried all sorts of pain relievers to no avail, there's one more you should try. Researchers studied adults who practiced grounding and compared them to a group doing intense exercise that caused muscle soreness. They found that grounding changed the way the immune system and pain levels responded. The ungrounded men had a big increase in white blood cells and felt more pain after exercising. However, the grounded man had only a small increase in white blood cells, which means less inflammation, and they recovered faster. This shows that grounding is a great way to feel better naturally. And finally, on the benefits of earthing. Did you know that it supports heart health too? Research published in 2013 in the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine found that grounding can lower blood clumping and viscosity. This led researchers to conclude that it is one of the simplest and most profound interventions for helping reduce cardiovascular risk and cardiovascular events. Another study expands on the heart benefits of earthing. This time, scientists discovered that it naturally increases circulation and blood flow, increases heart rate variability, and reduces soreness after exercise. Not only will this benefit your entire cardiovascular system, but your organs will also benefit from the improved blood flow. When you practice earthing, you open yourself to the rejuvenating connection with the earth, which has been shown to offer numerous health benefits. While earthing can complement your wellness routine with its potential benefits, it's essential to incorporate it responsibly alongside modern medical advice. 